Like and subscribe, or this gigantic wasp will sting you when you go outside. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today we'll look at the top 10 most terrifying parasites that control their victims. Stay until number one. You won't believe how many animals one worm can infect. Number 10, the wasp that turns cockroaches into slaves. Nature can be both amazing and creepy. Think about it. Some of the tiniest creatures have the ability to get their own way by manipulating bigger animals. Let's look at some of them. Here are 10 of the most terrifying parasites that control their victims. And we start the list with a tiny creature that looks beautiful, but hides a deadly power. It's called the Emerald Cockroach Wasp. Its multicolored metallic body makes it look like a real jewel. But its name doesn't contain the word cockroach for nothing. This tiny wasp can actually enslave a cockroach that's six times its size. How does it do this? Well, first, it stings its victim to paralyze it. Then it delivers a second sting, but this time the jab contains a neurotoxin that affects its prey's brain. In a short time, the wasp has a submissive and helpless cockroach that will do anything it wants. The wasp then tucks in, literally. It sucks some roach blood, then eats the antenna. Afterwards, it forces the roach to go with it to its lair. When they get there, the wasp lays eggs on its slave's abdomen. It builds a barricade of pebbles so the roach doesn't escape. But even if it physically can do it, the roach doesn't even try to escape. The eggs hatch and the larvae feed on the cockroach's body from within. Finally, the adult wasps burst out of the roach's remains. Number nine, the horsehair worm that forces crickets and grasshoppers to kamikaze. This is a horsehair worm. It may look like a long piece of black thread, but it is one parasite that crickets and grasshoppers fear. You see, this thin thing can make crickets and grasshoppers commit suicide kabakazi style, and it does this in a very devious way. What happens is an insect larva, like a mosquito or mayfly larva, unknowingly eats a horsehair worm larva. You know how larvae are. They've just emerged from their eggs, so they're very hungry and will eat anything. Some of them have been known to resort to cannibalism just to feed. Anyway, a cricket or grasshopper, in turn, feeds on the evolved insect. The insect gets digested, but the horsehair worm doesn't. It continues to grow inside the cricket. And once it is fully grown, the worm instinctively wants to go back to the water to mate. But the cricket or grasshopper isn't built for swimming. So what's a parasitic worm supposed to do? Why alter its host's central nervous system, of course. In this way, it forces its host to find the nearest body of water and jump into it. The worm doesn't care if the host drowns. It actually wants the host to die because this makes it easier to wriggle out of the corpse. Then it's free to find another worm and mate. Soon baby worms will be born and find their own host to manipulate. Number eight, the wasp that turns ladybirds into zombie bodyguards. Even parasites love their kids and want to protect them. But being parasites, this protection comes at a price. In the case of the green-eyed wasp, the price is the life of a ladybird. The female wasp lays an egg inside a ladybird. With the egg comes a virus that turns the ladybird into a zombie. When the egg hatches, it eats its way through internal tissues so it can burst through the host's abdomen. Once it's free, it spins a cocoon between the ladybird's legs. Miraculously, the ladybird doesn't die from this process, but because of the zombie virus, it stands guard over the cocoon. In the animal kingdom, the ladybird's bright color is the equivalent of a big neon sign saying it has poison and it's not afraid to use it. So, predators generally leave it alone, and this makes its abdomen the perfect hiding spot for the cocoon. But if a potential predator still tries to get near it, the ladybird thrashes around to make it go away. According to one study, about a quarter of the ladybirds survive the whole zombie state. They recover once the wasp leaves its cocoon. And some of them even get zombified again by a different wasp. Nasty. Number seven the fungus that turns ants into zombies. If you've ever observed ants, you'll know that they strictly follow a path that's practically a military parade. But a fungus in the rainforests of Africa, Brazil, and Thailand can pull these ants off their course. The fungus is called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, and they are parasites that turn ants into zombies. It all starts with an ant foraging on the rainforest floor. A fungus spore flying in the wind or resting on the ground infects it. The fungus develops rapidly inside its host's body in just three to nine days. When it's ready, the fungus manipulates the ant to walk away from its designated path. 
the zombified ants walk towards the same spot, a tree that has the perfect environment for the fungus to grow. When the ant reaches its destination, it uses its mandibles to clamp down on a leaf, and then it dies. In just 24 hours, the corpse of the ant will develop fungus threads. Then a stalk emerges from the ant. This stalk contains hundreds of spores that ride the wind. The process is like the scene from Alien, where the alien bursts from the chest of the infected humans. Soon the spores infect a new batch of ants. It's a vicious cycle that the ants can't escape. Number 6. The Flatworm That Mind Controls Snails Into Getting Eaten It's called the Green-Banded Brood Sack Flatworm. Like the horsehair worm, this worm starts its parasitic cycle indirectly. The worm breeds and deposits its eggs inside birds. The eggs come out with the poop, which a snail unknowingly eats. The eggs hatch inside the host's body and crawl to the snail's eyes. An infected snail is easy to distinguish because the worms make the eyes look like brightly colored green-black caterpillars. From their new position, the worms control the snail to climb to a high place and expose themselves out in the open. To birds, the snail looks like a buffet of caterpillars ready for picking. So they go for the snacks and peck out the eye stalks. And this is just what the flatworms want. Once eaten, they stay in the bird's guts, mate, and produce a new batch of eggs ready to be released to the next unsuspecting snail. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number 5. The Barnacle That Forces Crabs To Become Surrogate Moms Typically, you will find barnacles attached to the sides of a ship or the tail of a whale or all over the body of a turtle. The point is, you'll usually find them outside an animal or object. You don't really think about looking for them inside an animal. But there's one type of barnacle called Saculina that takes over the body of a host crab. How does it do this? Well, the female Saculina larva first finds a host and injects its slug-like body into the host body through a chink in the crab's claw joints. Instead of its hard shell, the barnacle turns the crab's body into its house. It leeches off nutrients from its host until it evolves into something that looks like a beating egg yolk. Then it develops a sac where it can lay its eggs. If its host is female, the barnacle makes it infertile so that all of its nutrients will go to the saculina's eggs. Here's where things get really creepy. If the host is male, the saculina changes the crab's body and behavior so that it transforms into a female. The male crab grows a bigger abdomen, its gonads shrink, and it doesn't develop the fighting claws males need for mating fights. A male saculina finds an infected crab and fertilizes the eggs. Once the eggs are fertilized, the crab instinctively finds a high rock and releases the eggs. It then takes care of the eggs until they hatch. Number 4. The Microbe That Changes the Behavior of Rodents The Toxoplasma gondii is a single-celled microbe that's famous in the medical world for turning rodents like mice and rats into cat lovers. It's general knowledge that mice and rats are typically scared of cats, which are their natural predator. But the Toxoplasma gondii changes the brains of rats and mice and removes this fear from their minds and turns it into something else. You see, the microbe can only reproduce inside the guts of a cat, so it manipulates its host to love its natural enemy. When an infected rodent smells cat urine, it will seek out the cat instead of running away from it. And we all know what a cat thinks of when a tasty rat or mouse comes running towards it. Goodbye rat, hello guts. Toxoplasma gondii quickly reproduces and then comes back out as cat poop. Anything that the poop comes into contact with, whether solid or liquid, becomes a carrier of the microbe. If a rat or mouse eats or drinks from these infected things, the cycle starts all over again. Want to know something more creepy? The Toxoplasma gondii can affect humans too. But be careful of your cat, that's all we're saying. Number 3. The tapeworms that battle it out for copod hosts. We've talked about parasites that inhabit hosts one to one, but sometimes multiple parasites inhabit one host. When this happens, some of these parasites jockey to become the main controller. Take for example the tapeworm, which loves to inhabit copods. Actually, the copod is just a stopgap for the tapeworm. You see, like other parasites, the tapeworm has a final goal. In this case, it's a fish called a stickleback to get eaten by its chosen fish. The tapeworm manipulates the copod's behavior 
makes the copod more active so the fish will spot it and would be lured to eat it. Now if two tapeworms choose the same copod and are both ready to switch hosts, they both manipulate their host, which becomes really, really active. So both of them get to their goal. But what happens if an older tapeworm has the same host as a younger tapeworm? Well, it'll look as if the younger one isn't there. It doesn't matter if the younger tapeworm is not ready to make the switch yet. The older one will manipulate their host to make the switch. Number two, the wasp that forces spiders to create special webs. It's looking like plenty of wasps love to prey on other animals. The Costa Rican wasp called Hymeno epimechus or Gyrophaga lays its eggs on the abdomen of an orb spider. The eggs hatch and the larva gets its nutrients from its host for a few weeks. Then it injects a compound into the spider that turns it into a zombie. The zombie spider starts to create a web that's unlike anything it's built before. When the web is finished, the larva finishes off the spider. It uses the web as support for the cocoon it creates afterwards. Number one, the flatworm that infects several animals. Now here's a parasite that infects several animals so that it can complete its life cycle. Officially, it's called the lancet liver fluke. It's a type of flatworm. It starts as an egg that's found in cow poop. Its first victim is a snail that comes across the dung and accidentally eats the eggs. When the eggs hatch, the tapeworm forces the snail to wrap the eggs up in protective mucus. Then the snail coughs the eggs out as slime balls. The ants come next. These little soldiers eat the balls and basically become the zombie slaves of the worms. The larva evolves inside the ant into the fluke form by getting nutrients from its new host. When it gets big enough, it slowly wriggles to the ant's brain where it mind controls the victim to climb up a blade of grass and sit there until a cow eats the grass and the ant with it. Inside the cow, the worms are ready for the final stage of their life cycle, reproduction. They lay eggs in the cow's guts, which are eventually secreted. A new batch of eggs is ready for the cycle to repeat over and over again. There you have it, our top 10 most terrifying parasites that control their victims. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video on the top 10 most shocking times worms have been seen coming out of animals.